In this video I'll show you how to use equations in an Excel design table so that we can reach an exact desired mass for a part. In this part we're going to vary the weight of it by adjusting the depth of this cut extrude. We'll need to set up a couple of things so that the part is ready to go. The first thing we're going to change is in the document properties we're going to change the units so that our precision on the uh, section on the mass properties is high and then also we're going to change the mass to grams. Another thing we're going to need to do is set up some custom properties. Here we're going to set up one called weight and tie it to the mass and we're going to set up another one we'll type in density and tie that to the density that's defined in the material for in this case titanium. The other thing we'll need is a configuration. This configuration is going to be used to find the mass before this cut is ever created so we'll suppress this go back to our default configuration and we can check those custom properties. Here's the, the custom properties for the default configuration and here they are for the test. We're now ready to make a design table. The auto create puts a few things in there that we don't need, so we'll go ahead and delete some of these columns. The two dimensions we need in there come from this cut extrusion, so we'll double click that. And one of the dimensions is going to be the depth. And the other one we actually need to convert into a radius dimension. So I'll exit out of the design table. And we'll right click this dimension and change it to display as radius. We're ready to set up the equation now, and the equation that we'll be using is this one that I have uh, typed out in Word. H is going to be the height or the depth of the cut extrude. M1 is going to be the mass without the hole that we're pulling from our test configuration, minus the desired mass that we want, divided by pi r squared times the density. Down here in the design table, I'll go ahead and type in the uh, desired mass so that we have something to reference and then uh, we'll give it a value here and then we'll go ahead and drive our dimension here for the depth. So to set the equation up we're going to highlight this cell and I'll just go ahead and set that equation up. Choose the uh, total mass from that configuration minus our desired mass divided by pi
And it looks like I forgot to put a times in there, so Excel caught that, and I'll go ahead and hit yes to, to accept those changes. So what you see now is it has now driven uh, the depth of that cut extrude. And I'll go ahead and hit OK, and we'll expect the mass properties to be a 5.25. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, tools, mass properties, and sure enough, we get an exact 5.25 grams.